Have you ever zoomed in close enough to a digital photograph so that all you see is thousands of little pixels? If you haven't, now you have. The picture of me that just came to life was more than 13 million pixels. And technically, you're still looking at a bunch of pixels together on your screen that form one large face. And a lovely face it is. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyway, my name is Ian. And so is mine. We're here to present to you a challenge and offer you a chance to win cash prizes. That's right. Forget pixels and digital photos. This here is a human cell. It could take over 100 trillion cells to make one human body. Cells are extremely small. In fact, there's something like 15 to 30 billion cells in my pointer finger alone. Well, that's a lot of cells for such a little guy. Ouch! Why don't you tell everybody about the contest? All right, I will. As I was saying, we have cash prizes for people who can make awesome and creative videos. They have to be informative and accurate too. And in two minutes or less, answering the question, how small is a cell? What we're saying is you need to make us understand how small a single human cell is in comparison to an entire human body. What does 100 trillion even look like? This big teddy bear needs everything explained to him. So make sure you include some basic facts about cells. <clears throat> Not some video of you reading off Wikipedia. Get outside and show us a new way to see the answer. Make sure you use fun and eye-catching comparisons to highlight the extreme difference in scale. To find out more about the contest, and to get some great examples, go to the contest page on Project Ed. And make sure you read all the rules and requirements carefully if you want a chance to win. What was that about? What? I just, I thought, you know, it could be a little bigger so that people could actually read it. Good luck.